Hey there folks, I'm Seth on Yeager and welcome back to Only Boss Fights. Today we are going to explore every optional boss in Yisha in Remnant 2 including how to find them and the rewards you'll receive for taking them down. So without further ado, let's dive right in. The Matagora is the easiest optional boss fight to find and also the only boss in the game that does not come immediately hostile towards you. It only attacks when you initiate the fight. Makes you almost feel bad for taking her down. Almost. Defeating the Matagora can be a long battle, especially if you're playing solo. It tends to fly away when injured, summoning root enemies to harass you during its retreats. The key is to eliminate these root enemies and patiently wait for its return. The start and stop pattern prolongs the battle, so I recommend taking shots at it when it's close, then using the time between its appearances to explore the area. Your hard fought victory over the Matagora rewards you with a Momentum Mutator. This range mutator boosts critical chance and critical damage by 1.5% for 3 seconds when your weapon scores a critical hit. This effect can stack up to 10 times and at level 10 critical hits from your weapon add 2 stacks and increase the duration by 2 seconds. The root nexus can be found in the forgotten fields with a trapped pan priest inside it. Damaging the root nexus may spawn the defiler, an empowered version of the root axeman. For me it did not always spawn in so you may have to do this multiple times to have the defiler appear. The Defiler is a formidable adversary with powerful melee and AoE range slam attacks. Be prepared for constant appearance of root flyers during the battle. Upon defeating these foes, you'll earn the Reinvigorator Mutator, which reduces the stamina cost of all charged melee attacks by 25%. At level 10, melee charge attacks gain a 15% damage boost and a 10% increase in critical chance. If the Defiler did not spawn, on, eliminating the root nexus will still grant you this reward. Additionally, if you take the time to listen to the Pan Priest's story, you'll receive the Lama Sensor Amulet as a bonus. Another root nexus can be found in the Far Woods. This peculiar entity remains dormant until you attack it, after which it unleashes waves of root enemies. It's a challenging adversary due to its large health pool, but by taking breaks between rounds and preparing for the next wave, you will emerge victorious. Defeating this foe grants you the Blood Bond trait. This trait allows summons to absorb 1% of damage taken by the caster, with increased absorption as you invest more trait points into it. Inside the husk of the root nexus, you'll discover the hallowed egg amulet, which enhances melee damage by 10% for 7 seconds when you spend at least 30% of your firearms magazines to deal damage. This effect can stack up to 5 times. The wither awaits in a secret room accessible after solving the consort's puzzle found in the lament. To solve the puzzle, locate the diary of the last queen's consort, which contains a randomized symbol unique to each player. Use this symbol to match the plaques on nearby coffins. You don't need to arrange them in a specific order, the door will open regardless. Upon entering the room, the wither will manifest. It's a more challenging version of the flies that spawn bodies. Maintain a safe distance, avoiding its lunging attacks, and when the body is down, make sure to take down Wither before it generates a new body. For your efforts, you'll be rewarded with the Overdrive Mutator. Overdrive enhances melee critical chance and critical damage by 5% for 7.5 seconds, stackable up to 5 times. At level 10, melee critical strikes deal an additional 20% damage. Additionally, you'll receive Colquette's Razor, a piece essential for solving a puzzle that rewards a unique headpiece. We'll speak about this in another video. The rock boss can be encountered in either the chimney area or the twisted chantry area. Look for a coffin in the center of a lowered room. Drop in from a high point, eliminate all enemies within and proceed up the stairs. When you reach the ledge at the top, you'll encounter the rot. 
target its large circular glow and weak spot while avoiding its heavy melee attacks. Defeating the rock boss grants you the extender mutator which increases magazine capacity by 20%. At level 10, it enhances reload speed by 15% when reloading from empty. Antrophy and the Rot Stalker can be located in Enderi's End. Search for holes in the floor in the corners of the areas. Upon dropping in, you'll find yourself in a library-like space. Ascend the stairs and position yourself in the corner to find a hidden doorway. Move forward to reach a ledge where you'll encounter Entropy. Engage it from here until it teleports you closer, then dodge and continue firing. During this process, Rot Stalker will be summoned. While it does this, its weak spot is exposed, allowing you to unleash your firepower. After defeating both foes, you'll be rewarded with Bullet Weaver Mutator, boosting your weapon's fire rate by 10% for 7 seconds. At level 10, it increases mod generation by 15% and lasts for 7 seconds. Vesta will be found in the maze in Enderi's End. Once you collect the ring and Dairy's Endless Loop, step to the right and a secret passage leading to a maze will appear. Get to the second room and a door on your left will open where Vesta will appear. Vesta creates copies of itself so dodge and destroy these while taking it out. Once defeated, you will get the Vampire Blade Mutator. This increases melee damage by 10% while within 10 meters of a bleeding entity. At level 10, melee hits versus bleeding targets will life steal 3% of base damage dealt. Saving the most challenging for last, the World Stalker and the Gnarled Archer can be encountered in either the Forgotten Fields the Expanded Glade, Imperial Gardens, or the Nameless Nest. They are hidden beneath one of the floating islands in a special area. Once you locate this area, you have two approaches. Front them head on via the stairs, although I recommend caution here as it's easy to fall off the edge. Or drop down into a room behind them, grab the hardened coil ring and prepare for battle. Engage them both aggressively, one employs electric attacks while the other can teleport you close to them, disorientating you. Focus on eliminated one first to make the battle more manageable. Your victory against the Wild Stalker and the Gnarled Archer will earn you the Bandit Mutator. The Mutator grants a 10% chance to return spent ammo directly into your weapon's magazine on hits. At level 10, when ammo is returned to your weapon, it gains a 10% increased fire rate for 3 seconds, with the duration extending up to 10 seconds. I hope you found this video both informative and entertaining. If you did, please show your support by hitting the like button and subscribing for more content. As our channel grows, we'll be able to create more content for all you wonderful viewers. Don't forget to visit the community page to cast your vote on our next video topic, as your input plays a significant role in shaping this channel. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you next time on Only Boss Fights. Have an amazing day, you fantastic people.